If you have an iPhone, I'm sure you'd encountered the problem of not being able to properly use the photos you take on the internet, for example, or open them on Windows. Well, in this video, I'll show you how to solve that problem. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter, and the reason you can't open AGIC images on Windows is because it's an Apple standard format. It's the image format of iPhones, and Windows doesn't have a codec for AGIC images, simply because it's not free. You see, AGIC is an image format that can also contain a stream of images for the live photos function on iPhones, and it's just not a format that websites and third-party apps like very much. But don't worry, there is a solution, or in fact, there are more than just one, and I'm here to show you two of them. One way is via the Wondershare Uniconverter. Once you download it and install it, open it up and go to the toolbox menu on the bottom left side of the interface. Here, select the image converter. Import one or multiple HEIC images. On the upper right corner here, select the output format to be JPEG. By clicking on the settings icon, you can resize the images and change their aspect ratio as well. Once you're done with the settings, click convert. The other way is by using the online uniconverter. Go to media.io and to the online tools and all tools and select the image converter. But the links are going to be in the description below. Upload the files you'd like to convert. Select the output format to be JPEG. You can give the images a custom aspect ratio here as well. And once you have set up everything, click convert and after it's finished, go ahead and download your images. And that's it, both super easy and super convenient. The online uniconverter is accessible even from your phone as long as it's connected to the internet. So it's really cool! But this is it for today, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content on video related issues. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comment section, we're glad to help. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.